friends and welcome back to my garden. This is going to be a super duper quick video. Number one, because I think it's going to rain on me. Um, number two, because I really am only sharing one major thing today. I am making the case for rotating crops today. So in previous videos, I have talked about starting to grow food in my front yard, um, in the bed that's closest to the, our home in the front because I have a problem with squash vine borers. I really wish, I'm not gonna say I wish, I feel like just squash bugs would be easier to deal with because the vine borer is just a beast to deal with. So I did two things this year. I lost squash, but then I waited until later in the year to replant them. And then when I did replant them, I replanted in the backyard, but in a different spot than I had before and also in the front yard like I was talking about before. So I just wanna show you um, what's happening now. So here are two spaghetti squash plants. Here's the base of one. But for some reason, my squash and cucumber plants always split at the base, but I think it's a watering issue because there's never any bugs down there. But this is one of the squash plants and here, that's how big that one is. This is the second squash plant, and I have done a ton of surgery on this plant. Let's see if I can show you the base. Mm, it's a machine. There's the base right there. Okay. But then here is the entire plant. It sprawls, it sprawls, it ends there, and then it sprawls the other way and ends there. Now you heard me say that. I am, um, I've done a ton of surgery on it because even though I watched it really closely, the vine borer did get to it. And I actually saw the adult moth um, flying around, so I knew what was happening. See, that's all the surgery. There, this is not going to heal from those surgeries, but all I can do is watch the rest of the plan. Um, for the eggs as a matter of fact today when i came out here i scraped some eggs off of the stem um you can kind of see them just when i want you to see them i can't find them flowers are very pretty though and flowers are very pretty and that's a squash there's actually squash on here but it's just hard to find the little eggs and then hard to the surgery is not easy um, I thought I had come up with a better way to deal with them by using skewers like this instead of a knife because I can just stick this skewer into the stem and push all the way down without destroying the entire plant. Now, the surgery that I did down here was with a knife where I just cut it open like normal and tried to find the bug and then I squirted in some diatomaceous earth and you know hope for the best this one over here you can see there's a little bit of damage down there but in that one spot i did the same thing and then i don't see anything coming up on this plant there is another squash i love that um and another one another baby coming right there the other ones look like they are males these are males male flowers um so even though I didn't go squ grow squash in this spot before, it still did succumb to the vine borer. I just keep coming out here each day, seeing if I can find any eggs, scraping those off, and then doing any surgery where I see frass. So let's go up to the front bed and see what's different there. Again, this is spaghetti squash. What we're gonna see in the front front bed is gonna be zucchini and yellow crookneck squash. By the way, before we head up front, um, I have also been spraying this garlic insecticidal soap, and that has been working wonders on most of the plants where there are pests that I can actually target with the spray because it has, has to actually touch them. And so basically all this is, I boiled some garlic in water and then strained that water off into this con this um, container and then topped it off 
with some Castile soap, or in this case, some Dr. Bronner's cell suds. So let's head up front really quickly. I, that was just a little detour. I wanted to talk to y'all about that. All right, headed up front, headed up front. I think I'm gonna beat the rain, maybe, possibly, bear with me. Okay, so here we are in the front yard, and you can see that this zucchini plant is super duper lush. It's doing amazing. Um, I've actually been out here messing with it. I think I'm gonna come and put something out here where I can stake it just a little bit. But what I really want you to see is that I have a few leaves that are struggling, but what I really want you to see is that there's no, no eggs anywhere on the stem, on the leaf stems, and this stem looks actually really great. Now, I said that this one right here is uh, an actual zucchini plant. This one I planted later. Um, from seed directly. That actually has only been there for maybe a few weeks. This one I planted at the same time as this is squash and the other one, this this one here is squash. But this one I planted at the same time as this zucchini here, but for some reason it just did not take off. Um, and right now I'm just, I'm not gonna take it up. I'm gonna let it do what it does. But again, you can see there's not much going on on the stem. It looks pretty good. The worst that I've had up here is the little leaf miner. Let's see, and I did talk about this in the previous video, but just to show you, like some of these leaves can come off. That's gonna come off. I don't even see any leaf miner damage anymore. So you see, this really makes the case for rotating crops. I'm, since I've not grown this up here, I figured I wouldn't have any problems with the borer up here because there's nothing that overwintered and there were no other bugs up here that would disturb it there were other bugs but they don't care about the zucchini they care about other things like this can really like see bug damage but other than that the zucchini itself the squash looks pretty good and that's why i wanted to grow it up here because i did want to see if it truly makes a difference especially since my backyard is pretty contained um, and I can only rotate so much. And this right here just proves it, you guys. Crop rotation absolutely does work. If you have the space for it, like I said before, um, I don't have too much of an advantage when it comes to that because my backyard is fairly contained and buggers are gonna find their way from, you know, 10 feet away. So the best I can do is to go from the backyard to the front yard and vice versa. Um, and I will do that for as much as I possibly can for those crops that cause the most problems or have the most problems with bugs and disease and things like that. So that would be my squashes, um, <clears throat> including cucumbers, and then possibly my tomatoes. Those are the two things that I have the biggest problems with. So this really, it kind of was an experiment, but kind of not. The experiment worked. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. I really, really appreciate it. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. Like this video and share it with your gardening friends. And also, know that this channel, what I cover, is all things home. So we cook, we grow, we cook and eat what we grow. And I'm also an interior design designer. So every now and then, not quite as often as gardening, but every now and then, I do post quite a few tips on interior design, decorating your home without breaking the bank, and organization. So I do hope you will check out some of my other videos. Again, thank you for tuning in. Until next time, guys. Bye.